All right, welcome to social studies class. Today we're going to be making a clickbait. And you might be saying, well, what is a clickbait? Well, a clickbait is a text or a thumbnail link on the web that is designed to entice users to click on that link or follow that link. And they want you to read or view their content and then um, or listen to what is linked. So you can check more out on that at Wikipedia if you need more on that. But I think you'll get some some more information here. So here's an example of a clickbait. Now, we know we're not supposed to click on these because we know they're just garbage, but they're always enticing and we want to click on them. That's why they're called clickbait. Uh, so nine ways to get rich. You know, you, you feel enticed to click on that because what happens if that seventh reason is really a good reason and it's easy to get rich and we all never clicked on it. And so the clickbait is just to pull you in. Um, so and I'll explain exactly your content, uh, your frame of reference for making your clickbait. And then, but here's another one. Now, we know the gummy bears. There's nothing wrong with the green one. But boy, the outrageous truth about the green gummy bear. Well, it's going to destroy the world. I better I eat gummy bears. So I better, you know, I better find out what's wrong with that green guy. That's a great example of a clickbait because you, now you want to click on it and you want to read more. And it just drives you to their advertisement. And yeah, there's probably some very bad bogus information about a green gummy bear along with it but now you're looking at the ads that they want you to that they're getting paid to show you here's another great clickbait classic one okay no we all know he's not supposed to take the cheese but oh my golly it's cheese and i'm drawn to it don't do it don't click on it okay um so here's one that i made and this one is going to go right along with our our unit because you're going to be making a clickbait as if you're trying to get convince the colonists uh, to come fight against the British because they did have to do some um, persuasion. So here I've got Washington crossing the Delaware, row our, row our way, 10 reasons to be a patriot. Click here to learn more. So that's an example of a clickbait. Here's another one, a little edgy. Uh, if you remember Chris Bick, Crispus Attucks was the first martyr. He was the first person to die uh, in the American Revolution. Um, aren't you dying to be a patriot? Click to join. It's a little edgy, I warned you. Um, here's another one. Snowball fight got you down, because if you remember, the Boston Massacre was just a snowball fight and a, a kind of an angry shouting match at the Redcoats, the Lobsters. And then they got nervous and they felt cornered by the colonists and they fired on them. So, snowball fight got you down. Click to join a winning side. All right. So, uh, those are a little silly, but those are things that might entice somebody to click on it. So, your your goal, your topic today is to make a clickbait uh, convincing someone uh, to be a um, to become a patriot and fight against the British. Or I guess I'll also throw out that you could also um, remind people to be loyal. OK, which uh, if, if you've got any Hamilton fans out here, here's a here's a song from Hamilton. And then here's King George the third. Remember to be loyal. All right. So. And when push comes to shove, I'll send a fully armed battalion to remind you of my love. Remember to be loyal or else. Now, clickbaits should be fun. They should be creative. Uh, they should be uh, something that's truly going to entice people to want to click on it. And you're going to post these into a um, media album so that we can all see these and look at these. I'd like you to try to make two, post them both, and uh, and then we can have a, hopefully a good laugh and uh, see which ones entice us to click. All right, make your clickbait. Talk to you later. Bye.